from allegedly having bots inflate their player count to the $100 overpowered items sold in their pay-to-win store, this is everything we currently know about the accusations of botting on netherite.gg. Before we begin, everything stated in this video is alleged at this time, because to no one's surprise, there has been no concrete evidence to show or prove that netherite was not using bots at the time of the alleged raid, but more on that later. Shortly after the last video went live, a user informed me in DMs that there were more screenshots of the now ex-manager stating that the bots had been used on the server previously to boost their numbers. Now, when a server boosts their numbers, they can also potentially use the bots to gain more votes, appear higher on MC server databases, and overall make their server look a lot healthier and a lot better than it really is. That is where the issue lies with me. If you're using this to make your server look better, people will be more inclined to pay for things on your server because they think it's more populated, there's more things going on, and overall, it's just a really scummy thing to do. The following morning, the general manager, which I still think is a cringy title of Netherite, who goes by the name of Kiro, joined my server and asked to have a DM conversation about the situation. Unfortunately, the conversation bottled down to only focusing on the one staff member who leaked the original conversation between him and the manager, and not on the manager who stated that there was bots used on the previous days, and not just during the most recent incident. I was asked about several names, none of which who were the ones who gave me information, but Kiro decided that that morning to ban them on the server, and once I called him out for it, he decided that he was going to rescind those bans as he believed he quote, jumped the gun, which I completely agree. No new proof was given to me at this time to show that bots weren't used, Kiro just sent me the same screenshots of the staff member from our previous video, airing his grievances of feeling targeted about not getting recognition for his work on the server, while other peers were being promoted, which seems to have no correlation to the event that took place. We also discuss the pay to win aspects of their server and their storefront, which was met with a basic idea of everyone else does it and here are a few things and minor things that we don't make pay to win on the server and some cosmetics that people can grind for, which is not really a great response. A majority of the things that you're selling are pay to win and the only things that you're making grindable are a couple of items that are very basic and some cosmetic items as well. Which if you know already, Mojang does not consider cosmetics to be a pay to win aspect of a server, so if you're making those ones the only thing that you can grind for plus a couple of basic items that you can get. Um, it's not really changing the fact that your server is pay to win. You're still selling over $100 plus OP items in your shop, which I've seen allegedly some younger users have spent upwards of $600 to buy advantages on this server. Regardless, the conversation between Kiro and I did not have much positive momentum and resulted in basically no improvement to the case that they were not using bots. A little more than 24 hours after the video launched, Netherite released a less than appealing response to the allegations, detailing the manager's resignation, which is actually the first bit of misinformation. Here you can see the manager was actually fired, but apparently it was a mutual decision to fire him, which is pretty weird because most of the time, firings are not mutual. Secondly, they discussed the performance hits that the server was taking recently because, yeah, I understand that. I've been playing on the server recently too, and the lag is making it absolutely impossible to place or break blocks or basically do anything on the server. Next, they went on to finally discuss the botting accusations on the server and decided to basically pin the entire situation on that now ex-staff member that we've been talking about and his apparent, quote, admission that as of today, the staff member confirms that he was given zero actual proof proof before his admission was taken, and at this point it seems he's rescinded it altogether. Shown here is a clip of this staff member finding users who just received vote awards hovering over 900 blocks in the air with invisibility potions and effect particles, which is allegedly how they tried to hide these accounts in the first place. And lastly, they gave out information about a server-wide giveaway and their next server iteration. Apparently this was done just to hold off the conversation on botting accusations and put a positive light on the server, but again, it's never that easy. In conclusion, it seems like at this time, Netherite has some pretty serious botting allegations against them, with a decent stack of proof against them and a menial amount of defenses other than the staff member was a bit unhappy and all of this is lies, makes everything seem a bit suspicious at this time. But as always, I want to know what you guys are all thinking about the situation and whether or not you believe the allegations are true or not, let me know down in the comments below. I will leave you with this bit of information though. The general manager Kiro of the Netherite has had issues previously with command killing players on the server and giving back the incorrect items to these concerned players. And on top of this, he was in my Discord link in the description below, insulting members of our Discord just this very morning. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and getting your daily dose of vitamin P. If you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P, please check out the rest of the videos on my channel and leave a comment down below what you guys like to see next. Like the video if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I make a brand new video. Join the Discord if you guys haven't already. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and take care.